Alright, well that is another episode of the Eamon's Test done. No whips this time, but I did get an elite, so I'm going to do this. I think this clue is uh, Lethia, so uh, hopefully we'll be able to redeem ourselves from the trash loot that we've been getting from elite so far. Okay, this is the second time this has happened. In the past two clues. I just got this clue, came over here, dug, opened the casket, got the same thing again. The same thing happened with the Barker in the last episode. That is so weird. Yeah, nothing special. Nah. We got it. We got the level on video. 91 Slayer. Yes. I'm gonna print screen that too. Awesome. So I'm still about 500k XP off of my actual XP goal. I'm gonna be about 100k off of 92. Um, but yeah. Finally actually got a level on video. 91, pretty sweet. And uh, gonna get a strength level soon. I already got 94 defense and uh, 121 combat, which is pretty cool also. What? I think that's actually the first Dragon Spear drop I've ever gotten. I might have gotten one from... I feel like I remember getting one from Black Demons, but I think that might have been an RS3, but yeah. That's actually kind of cool. It'll be useful if I ever need it for a clue. did actually get an Elite from that Abyssal Demons test also, though, so I'm going to uh, head over to Sherlock right now and see what he wants me to do. I think I've done that a fair amount of times. Second Dragon Spear of the day? Um, okay. 95 attack, yeah. So that is the last combat related level I'm gonna get for a while because I am about 30k XP off of my goal for Slayer for Diaries, which is uh, pretty cool, so I'll have that in like an hour or so. All right, that's it. 800k XP off of 93 Slayer. All of the XP lives from Diaries will get me that requirement, and I have everything that I need for Diaries done. Alright, so a quick TLDW of what's going on here. I actually decided after I finished with Slayer for Diaries that I wanted to do something, or go back to a, a bit of stuff that I haven't been really working on in a while, which is some of my old school completionist stuff. I made a video about it this summer, about a goal that I may want to go for. And what I'm doing right here is actually unlocking songs. I'm going to all sorts of different areas in RuneScape that I've never been to before in old school anyways, and unlock unlocking the songs in those areas. Um, so, you know, I went to the Rat Pits, went to the Arzinian Mine, Went to uh, the Kilowatt Plane, I think it was. Yeah, that's the Kilowatt Plane. It's a fucking cool looking place right there. I don't think it, yeah, well, I definitely haven't been there in old school before, but it looks so cool, like the transparent clouds and everything. It's been a while, a while just, you know, XP wasting there. And then uh, the mine underneath Yatis, so I don't even think I ever knew this place existed, but there's all sorts of rocks there, you know, Addy, uh, Rune. I don't, no, I don't think there's Rune, actually. There's Addy and Mithril, I think. Uh, and then I went to uh, all sorts of different other places. And, uh, yeah, no wilderness. There's one spot it's actually north of the Lumberyard where <laughs> dying at Corp, dying at Scorpia. Yeah, that spot north of the Lumberyard, I guess for some reason, didn't have the song. And then there's one song that you get it after completing a Rogue's Den uh, thing. And I've never actually done Rogue's Den before. But after I did it once, I realized that it's actually really fun, even though the only thing you can get from it is the cosmetic Rogue outfit. But I actually did get the full Rogue outfit, which is pretty cool looking. And uh, it took me maybe like an hour or so. I think I got pretty lucky. And then, you know, I went to Trouble Brewing with a friend, got that, and I uh, went to the fishing trawler and got that. So this is something that I don't know if I've ever done. It's the uh, General Shadow mini quest, which is another mini quest you can do after you get the ghostly robes, and you can get a shadow sword. You just have to go talk to a bunch of ghosts around here and then kill this ghost bouncer, which is actually kind of cool looking. But yeah, it's somewhat tied to the Khazard quest because you have to talk to General Khazard as ghost who is near Raleka and stuff. Interesting stuff. Alright, so I decided to actually buy all of the god pages that I don't already have. I had a few from Clues and I had a Zambi book completed already because it is kind of useful, but I decided to buy the rest of the pages because that is one of the things on my trim completionist type thing list. So I just put all, all the Sarah pages in and I have all the rest of the pages here. I spent about 2... Uh, I think it was like 2.1 mil for all the pages that I didn't have. So that's not including Unholy Book, and I had like two Bandos pages, two Sarah pages, and one Gothics page, I think. So I paid uh, 1.5 mil for the full Ancient and Armadil pages, and I paid like 650k for the rest of the other pages. So just need to buy the prayer books off of Jossic, and uh, I can fill them all up. I don't know how, I mean, a lot of them won't really be that useful, like the Gothics book is very useful. The uh, Sarah Doman book actually I think is kind of useful for runecrafting and various odd things. And the Ancient and Armadil books are nice because they have the, um, you know, ma mage and range bonuses and they're not expensive very much at all, so those may come in handy at some point, but it's also just sort of a completionist type thing to have it all completed, it's kind of cool. 
So this is one that took a little bit of time, toggling all of the warning screens. You have to go to all these different random areas that warning screens may pop up and do them a bunch of times until it gives you the option to never uh, show it again. And then from here you can toggle them all on and off um, so that the warning screen will show up or the warning screen won't show up. Um, so yeah, that's kind of interesting, but I decided to just get that done because it is another random unlockable piece of content in old school RuneScape. This is something I didn't know existed. If you take a fairy ring to code DLR, then there's this guy right here named Broken Hands, and he has a telescope where you can view people's uh, Zulra fights if you know their username in your own the world. And also there's badgers here, which is <laughs> interesting. I don't know what they're doing here, but a uh, funny bit of content that I didn't know existed. Selling all of my super defense. Thank God. Those things are just a pain in the ass to sell, but I managed to find a guy that buys bulk, so that's nice. Don't have to worry about those anymore. 88 Hunter. Missed the screenshot as I always do, but we're back at the Hunter making some uh, Hunter gains. Yeah, 89. Minced it once again. <laughs> Ninety hunter and ninety-one. And ninety-three. Levels are getting a little bit longer, it's about five hours for the next level, which is still not very much time for the a level this high. I think ninety-three and ninety-four RC is like thirty hours, so Hunter is quite fast, but it is actually my slowest skill besides Slayer right now, which is interesting. Averaging around one sixty K an hour, and uh at times, you know, if I'm doing pretty well I can get a bit higher than that. But that is above EHP. EHP just shifted from one thirty five to one fifty five for me now goes to 155 at 93 and stays there for the rest of 200 mil. Um, but yeah, I'm getting a bit over EHP right now, so I'm happy with that. And as I get higher, Hunter should be getting a little bit higher over EHP. Okay, I lied. Hunter EHP is actually 135k all the way up until 99. And then uh, it goes to 155k once you hit 99. Yeah, 94. Servers are so shit that I think I'm going to take a nap. That's pretty sweet. Done 92 to 94 today so far, and probably, hopefully we'll hit 95 before I go to bed. It's a lot of XP, but it's doable. Um, so yeah, gains. AO, 95. Fucking awesome. Done like 1.8 mil Hunter XP today. <laughs> I took like a 3 hour nap like halfway through. I did. I think I did like 7 hours of Hunter. I took like a 3 hour nap. I was intending to sleep for like an hour and a half, and somehow it turned into 3. Uh, and I've been hunting for six hours since then, like six and a half actually, um, and gain a good amount more XP. Still slated for Sunday, that's the hope that I can get on Sunday. I probably won't finish it in this video because it'll probably be like Sunday night, but, and usually I edit these videos like Saturday night, but I should probably be like 97 to 98, some, at some, probably hopefully by the end of this video, pretty nice. Anyways, 95, holy shit, we are getting so much Hunter XP. February break is fucking amazing. That is all. And 96 Hunter, fuck yeah. Almost 10 mil XP and only three levels to go for level 99. And I just hit 10 mil Hunter, which is pretty nice. I think that's probably where I'm gonna leave it for tonight. And uh, try to get in a quick six hour sleep and uh, keep on hunting to gain as much XP as I can because I do wanna get 99 on Sunday. I'm not giving up on that yet, but <laughs> I should probably bank. 2.2K chins isn't the wisest idea to keep in the, in the uh, wilderness. But I haven't seen a PK here in a while and just been, you know, attacking other people, hunting, and they attack back with arrows so we don't hit too much damage whenever PKers come and that pretty much makes it so that they can't attack a lot of times, which works out pretty nicely. Um, but yeah, I'm actually averaging about 170k an hour right now and it's been over two hours, which is actually not... Has it been two hours? Yeah, it's been over two hours. Um, so that's been pretty nice. Uh, I've been focusing a little bit more than I usually do, I guess, just listening to music and stuff. But yeah, I'm getting close to done with Hunter. It's a very fast skill, and I've been no lifing it pretty hard this week as much as I can, really. But I haven't been like sleep depriving or anything like that. I've still been sleeping like six to eight hours, like usual. But yeah, should definitely get 97 tomorrow and well into into the way to 98, and then finish off 99 on Sunday, hopefully. And then uh, I could probably get back to streaming and do some uh, bank skills and all sorts of random shit until diaries come out. All right, so just got 97. Missed it. Alright, so one thing I want to quickly address, uh, last week I talked about how I was planning to do streams throughout the week, and I wasn't really thinking about that so much because I didn't really think about the fact that I was going to be starting Hunter after I finished Slayer, 
And Hunter is not really a thing that you can stream because, you know, you're in the wilderness and people will come PK you and it doesn't really work out too well. So I really do apologize. I feel bad because, you know, I made that video and then like a day later I finished up with Slayer and then I was like, shit, I said I was going to do a bunch of streams this week and I was planning on it. And then I, you know, it's just not worth it to try to stream Hunter. There's going to be a much larger volume of people coming to PK. And I was actually hunting with Vestfold pretty much all of this week when I was doing Hunter and... You know, I wouldn't want to be attracting PKers to him also, and it worked out pretty well because we managed to keep PKers away for the most part by just attacking each other to keep ourselves in combat so that they couldn't attack us since it's single-way combat. Works out pretty well, pretty cool there. Um, but, you know, this week I've just been, you know, working on Hunter for the most part and getting a lot of XP. I played, like, at least 10 hours a day every day. I've gained, like, 70 HP this week, so doing pretty well. I don't really get, usually get to do that, but I was on February break this week, which is pretty cool. But I'm back to school next week, not quite as much time, and I have to do some stuff IRL, uh, get my car fixed, and pay some taxes, and all sorts of lovely stuff like that. But I probably will actually be buying my new computer quite soon, I just have to get all this, those expenses out of the way, and then see how much money I have left, and I'm hoping it'll be enough, it probably will be, but new computer probably will be coming in pretty soon, and hopefully I can get a couple streams out for you guys also. Once I'm done with Hunter, I'm just going to be doing probably like bank skills and maybe some other random stuff, I don't really know, but... We can get some streams going on, just chill in the chat and everything like that. That's usually how it goes with skilling streams, so that'll be fun if I get that to happen. Not 100% promise, because I don't want to let you guys down again, but it seems pretty likely. I don't really see why not at this point. So uh, be looking out for those live stream notifications again. But I do apologize about last week. Um, and I guess that's pretty much it for this video. It's a little bit shorter, but, you know, all of that Hunter really isn't that interesting, and I didn't want to just have long clip after clip after clip of me talking over hunting, because... It's just hunting, and hunter is sort of just a meh skill. It's not really that great, but it's not terrible. I don't mind it too much. It's just I don't like the wilderness, and I, I don't like you know risking and all that stuff. I'd like it much better if black trains weren't in the wilderness, or if there was some alternative not in the wilderness or something. I don't know, but you know I'm just getting through it and getting it done as quickly as I really can. And you know it's nice to get a lot of XP and a lot of EHP and everything like that. And after Hunter, I'm just going to be doing lots of buyables, basically, and then Slayer at some point. I'm going to save most of these skills until Diaries come out, but uh, crafting is one skill that Diaries don't really affect, as far as I can tell. Um, so, that's probably what I'm going to be doing for now, and it's also a skill below 90, so it would be nice to get skills above 90. Might do a little bit of fire making too, maybe get to 90 fire making, I don't know. But a lot of these other skills I'm going to save for Diaries, because Diaries will affect most of these skills. So, um, there's no reason to uh, do you know, do them before Diaries come out, but also GE is coming out this week, which is kind of crazy, unless they postpone it, which I don't think they will, since, you know, it's, they've been saying that it'll be coming out, so uh, that'll be kind of interesting. Once GE comes out, I'm actually going to start GE merching, and that's probably going to be my primary moneymaker. Um, it's quite simple to do. I used to do it back in the day and make a fair amount of money, and it probably will basically be the most efficient uh, moneymaker besides alts, I guess, and I don't really want to use alts. So, as much as I don't really like the GE, you know, it's coming, I can't prevent it, so I may as well take advantage of it, really. So, that's my plan. Um, so, while I'm doing bank skills and everything, I will be GE merching and using that as my moneymaker, and maybe after I max, I can do some buyables if I make a decent amount of money. Or maybe buy some cool items or something like that, I don't know. Um, but I guess that's really about it. I apologize if this video is a little bit short for you guys, but hopefully you have enjoyed it. And I will probably actually be making a... Hunter guide also this week, which would be kind of interesting. You know, if, after I finish 99 Hunter, I can make a 1 to 99 guide. And I haven't done one of those since runecrafting, but I've been wanting to. I've just sort of been focused on scaling and gaining XP. Um, so that's why I haven't. But probably enough fletching for you guys for now. Thanks for watching, and look forward to some more videos this week. I will, I will try to have more out than I have been having out. <laughs> uh, it's really just been a been really focused on the game itself and getting a lot of XP and making videos is hard to do when you're doing skills like Hunter, you know, because click intensive and everything like that. Uh, but once I get my new computer, it'll be a little bit easier because my, you know, running Camtasia also lags me, so it makes it hard to even do AFK skills because it's so laggy. Uh, but once this new computer comes in, things will be a lot better. Streaming will be a lot better too. But, I've said goodbye to you guys a lot of times. I'll see you guys later. Thanks a lot for watching. Definitely drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. And I will see you guys soon with more content.